So hello everyone. Once again, welcome to BISPSolution.com. My name is Amit Sharma, and today we uh, we have one very interesting example of REST API. So in this example, I'll show you how you can call this REST API through Grow Groovy Script, and this REST API in turn call data management or data integration, and through which I am going to show you how to load data. It means you'll call REST API, which in turn call data integration services. Okay, let's get started. So my story has got three parts. First, open Oracle REST API document so that you can refer the underlying syntax. Step one, I create connection to my data management. So go to tools, connection, and when you create a connection, you got multiple options. We need to use this option number, other web service provider. So I already created a connection with name called data management. You can give any name you wish to give it. And this URL you get from your Oracle documentation. See this. This is a URL of post type with AIF REST and version jobs. So in my case, it is version one for data management. So you create this URL. And before you invoke this URL, make sure you run this URL directly in your browser. And it should render the output something like this. The list of various jobs and the underlying status. Okay. So you need this information before you start creating a connection. And in your connection tab, define your header, content type, and application oblique job. This is given in Oracle documentation. Give your credential over here, username and password. Make sure you have got adequate privilege to run data management. So step one, you create database connection. Um, you create web service connection. This I already did. Step one, oh, so create web service connection. Create once again, click on create, and there is an option other web service provider. The next step, whatever you like to do, it I'm going to create data management, data integration, data load process. So, all the data load process which you typically create data mapping you're supposed to do it over here i did it already so i have a sample data file you know and this sample data file i've taken a screenshot of this oops not here i've taken a screenshot in my uh in my ppt it's very simple data file this is my sample data file and this is account number entity product numbers which is amount and this is data source okay and uh, before i load data i already created a smart view with and i put it no data over here so before i load data i take a screenshot of this i'm going to load data to this underlying intersection let me submit this number i mark it hash missing it means zero before loading and after loading will take a screenshot of it so before loading data so data management process i already created in order to save time uh, before loading data right and I'm going to invoke this process manually first in order to show you how it works so I already have a data management data load rule a sample data load rule with process ID the, the latest process ID I ran the last one's 368 okay it's a fairly straightforward data load process I invoke this manually first and I show you how it works just hit the execute button i am running for january 2024 and export what is export replace so the same argument i am going to pass into my rest api okay, you probably if you wish you can take a screenshot of this so i take a screenshot of it and the process id is uh, right now the process id is 369 right this 369 the process id which i manually invoke this process this is going on and probably few minutes later you see the numbers over here the process runs successfully this time i run the data management rule manually right before loading and after loading data i want to call the same data management rule or data integration rule from my rest api after data load isn't it 
and you can see the the, the last process id was 368 i believe 368 my system is going to render 369 the latest process id my system is going to render 370 next process when i invoke it from my uh, data manager rest api okay. so probably if you wish you can take a screenshot of it and we can compare does my rest api invokes dm process or not okay. fine so i created a new business rule and this is my the connection string so first you create http response same as i taught in a previous example where we call business rule so i create http response this is a http response object of string type operation dot application dot get connection see this the name of the connection which i created few minutes before isn't it this is connection and it's a post method because it is given in your oracle document it's a post method i've chosen a post method and you need to define the header content content type application job it is same as the one i defined over here while creating connection see that a header content header content type application json now the job type is a unlike in previous example where i run a load uh, data business rule this is data rule this is called data rule the previous one was rule where i invoke business rule this is data rule and job type is data rule first argument second argument job name see that the same thing which i this argument the one i oops i think i have not taken a snapshot of it uh you can see the argument over here data management let me close this and uh, while we were running this load dm load these argument you need to pass once again we execute this is the name of my rule uh, am dlr okay and the same i pass over here as an argument see that job name is am dlr data load rule isn't it and when i click on execute button whatever argument pass over here this is for january 24 start period and period import mode and export mode whatever you see in my screen the same i passed over here as an argument here isn't it so job type is data rule job name is am underscore data load rule start period and period import format replace and export format store data or replace whatever you like to call okay so i invoke that rule and then the last argument define the file name so this is a file which is to be loaded over here and this string required because it's written as an object type and you need to cast it type cast as a string type so associate a string type function along with it with no argument so now when i invoke this rule right this is going to invoke my another dm process see this 369 look at this carefully i'm going to invoke it over here and since it is a fccs and it's kind of on demand business rule you need to define these mandatory arguments please refer my another video on demand rule in fccs where you get to know what arguments required to be passed i'm going to run this uh, you know rule with the underlined runtime prompts click on ok and this takes it a little sluggish takes some time first it validates and then it executes and the rule is being launched right you can see this rule is being launched see the rule the rule is launched which is object id 370 okay i should have deleted this data but anyways if it is a little late i probably run this again so before loading and after loading i want to track it so i remove the data and probably I run it once again let this process be complete so this is running probably take few seconds the job ran successfully because i removed the data there is no data let me run it again with the process id 370 when i rerun it there would be process id called 371 i run this rule manually you can run this rule from data form or action menu whatever wish you like to do it you can do the same thing once again the rule got invoked first it gets validated and the rule gets launched and you see the process id 371 
right process 371 initiated it will take few seconds and after this i would have a data over here let's keep refreshing here is the data right and process might have got completed by now it is still going on till a few more seconds at the last step of data export So with this, it will get completed. Probably take another few more seconds. Uh, let it go on. Yes, it got completed and I have a data. So before loading and after loading, you can take a snapshot of it. And that's how you can run data management process from REST API. I run this process after it load and the process which invoke this, take a screenshot of this. HTTP response. It's a very basic example for a beginners. You know, we can do error handling and more advanced stuff on top of that. This is how I call, this is my function which call this data management rule. So these are the arguments which is important to highlight. Load rule and job name. And with other argument called start year and period and so on. So that's it for today. Should you need, do you have any specific requirement for REST API for your project? Please reach out to bispecialisations.com. Thank you very much. For any training and consulting requirement, please reach out to us as well. Thank you.